to the eternal living God. Blessed be his work. Blessed be his might. Blessed be his truth. Today we come humble to serve, to be obedient, to be used as but a mere instrument for the glory of our God. If we can just be used in this day to be used by the Most High God for his plans, family, I ask all the time for your God's silliness and for his weakness, for I know it's better than any man. As I, as I look at the past all the way to the present, people, the two main arguments with people back in the day was, uh, is, there, is there life after death? That was their argument, family. That was one of, the, one of the biggest arguments of confusion that they had in their times. What was the, uh, the other one? is uh can somebody be grafted in can a gentile be grafted into the word of god and how to accept him now god he gave paul all these visions telling him about how you should accept your brother coming in from another nation and for some reason people of this time they thought that that we that god was talking about food family they actually they was all like well you know jehosa i like my swine jehosa you know jehosa i like my i like my lobsters i like my crap god wasn't even talking about that family you see how okay now people say that you can use the bible to tell people whatever you want i don't believe that can you manipulate the word of god you can a little bit but when you start getting confused now look at what the argument was God was trying to teach the people. He's like, hey, 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 quit looking down on them people up over there. They, they could be believers in God just like you. That was the argument of their times. Is there a body? Is there a resurrection? Okay, family, it's 2024. Our, our greatest man, family, man, the greatest argument that, oh, hold on, let me stop, let me stop. I want you to say to yourself that God is working it out. Hallelujah, family. God is working it out. God is working a blessing for you right now in your life, even though you can't see it, even though it's down the hill, even though you might can't perceive it in your life at this time, at this present junction in your life. I want you to say, God is working out a miracle for me. Hallelujah. Can I say, can you say it again one more time for me? God is working out a miracle for me right now in my life. God is working out a blessing for me in my life. As, as we speak, family, as you sit here and listen to my voice, I want you to know that your God is working out a blessing for you, family. You be like, well, you know, Jehovah, God bless me too much, Jehovah, in 2024. I don't need that. Yes, it is. God is working a blessing for you right now as we speak. As in this day, God is working out a miracle for you. Now, the greatest arguments of this of these times family is is can a can a woman be a man that's our argument of nowadays of 20 of this of this century of this time of modern era can a can a can a man be a woman can a woman be a man it's a damn shame family you seen how hard how hard the world fell off family we went from not believing in an actual spirit body to not accepting certain people who want to be grafted in to 2024 to is a man a woman no a man is not a woman you know what i'm saying it's that simple you know what i'm saying uh, our greatest argument can a woman be a man no no woman can't be no damn man and y'all know that i don't understand family is it is it that we're dummying down ourselves or is our is our generations becoming more stupid? I, I don't know, family. I don't know. But when you hold on to a lie, you keep on telling yourself that long enough, you actually going to believe that. Now, I was brought into uh, remi remission and an understanding of the body of Christ. Your God is so good to me in my life that he has me working on stuff even before it even gets here, family. Your God is so good to me. He got me up over here working on 2025. Family, it's still, it's still, it, we, we haven't even met. This is, this is the body of Christ right here. This is the body of Yahshua. Your God in our life, whatever our future is, he already got us working on it right now, family. I already got stuff as I look at my life, family, and I had to, I had to call some institutions. I had to get some people on the phone. I had to, I had to check all the books and all the papers. I, had, I checked all my stuff out, family. 
and your God is so good in my life. It's just not me. It's you too, brother. It's you too, sister, in our lives that he got us up over here with our nose down on the grind family busting our head on this pavement and we already taking care of stuff in the future as i speak right now in my life family i could go months and months ahead of myself and all my business is taken care of i don't have to stress on anything family that's how hard your god has is working in our lives that he has us working we're in the present but we, you might as well say we in two places because we also in the future, family. You be like, what do you mean, Jehovah? What do you mean your God right now in your life got you working so hard that you got your business taken care of in the future? It's like you went two places at one time. And, and I believe it because your God can be all places at any time. He could be, he's an omnipresent God. He could be anywhere, everywhere at all times. This is how you know you make up the body. This is how you know that you're being moved by God. My brothers and sisters, we up out here, we can't be everywhere at one time. We're not omnipresent, but there's things that we could do. There's things that we could take care of that are further push more into the future as if we were there. I'm sitting up in 2025 right now, family, and I'm not even over there right now, family. Yo, God got me working so hard, family. He has me using my brain, family. He has me getting my finances, everything in, in so much of a proper order to where it's like I'm already in the future, family. And I was meditated on it last night and I was in prayer and I was talking to him about it and I was praying over it. And he wants he wants me to continue, family. I'm a person that lives in the in the in the now family, not in the future. But your God is working so good with me in my life. He has me over there sitting in the future and all my business in the future is taken care of and it's looking good, family. It's looking damn good. So that lets me know that he's preparing us for something else. If he already pushing us off into 2025, we ain't even got there yet, family. It's, uh, what is it? What is it? November? It's October. It's October 1st, family. 2024, family. 2024. And your God is working on us. He's been on us, family, all on 20, 2024, 20, all on 24, 23, to get us to where we at right now, family. And he has me in two places in one time. But that's your God and how good he works. We just got to keep on going with the plan, going with the plan. Now, the word for today is hypocrisy. It's dangerous for a believer in the Most High God. That's dangerous, family. What you mean? What you mean, Jehovah's hypocrisy? What you mean? It's dangerous, family, because the more complacent that you can get, the more place, the more complacent that you can get in any day and anything, the more that you step away from your God, the more you say, oh, well, you know, I'm not going to read my Bible. I'm not going to read my Bible today. That's getting complacent in the word, family. The more you step away from church and you don't you don't want to go in and get your your mind and your body and your soul cleansed, family. It's a cleansing. It's cleansing when you go into church, family. Um, the more we step outside and we take on the worldly things of this world, hypocrisy, family, it's going to push you away from God. The more that we um, we hang around or we let people come into our lives and they're not on the same wavelength, they're not on the same energy field as we are, the, the same, the, the vibration that we vibing on right now, family, they're not on our level, is hypocrisy and can take you away from God, family. Anybody that you will let come into your life that will deny your Lord, you'll be, you'll be around these people all the time. They don't give God no glory. They don't give no glory to his son. Hypocrisy, family, it can separate you from God being so complacent. Starting to be a lazy believer. Oh, Jehosa, I'll get to it next time, Jehosa. Oh, oh it's always tomorrow, brother. Uh uh, sister, you got to stay in this word. You got to stay in your strength. Brother, you can't get complacent. You can't get lazy. It, it, lazy. It's hypocrisy. It's going to push you away from, from Yah. That's a dangerous thing, family. That is a dangerous thing because the more you feed into the world, the more the more you feed into the world and you be like, oh, it's just tomorrow is the more it is separates you from your love and from the understanding of your God. So you got to stay grounded, family, and meditation and prayer and learning, searching out for your God to show to him that you are that you are worthy, family, searching out for your God daily, 
by your meditation, by you meditating on the word, by you being aligned, being a, uh, a just person, being holy, showing him. You know what I'm saying? The only way you can practice what you preach is with God is to, to be holy, family. The only way, family, the only way each and every day you go out is to be holy, loving, putting on the full armor of God, loving, caring. Um, how can I say this? Um being generous, you know what I'm saying, loving, caring, gener generous, uh, humble, you know what I'm saying, putting on the full armor, family, loving somebody, you know what I'm saying, trusting, believing in the word of God, putting on the whole armor of God, walking out in that, walking out your door each and every day to be holy, to show, to show yourself fit through your own actions to God that you are here and that you love him. And then you're not going anywhere, family. So a prophecy, don't get, don't get complacent. Don't get lazy, family. Don't be hanging around them people, family. Don't be a uh, party, party, party. Uh-uh, family. That's that's go hypocrisy is gonna take you away from God, family. You'll be you'll look up, family, and you'll be thinking about nothing but this world, family. You'll forget all it, all the love and all the knowledge that you have for God to get replaced by worldly, fleshly, cardinal desires of your body family now i gotta get going family but i hope you think about some of the things that we we i discussed here and i preached and i prayed over and i ministered over here today but all glory given to your god let peace and grace carry you through this day through the love of your god all glory be given to yah